I didn't trust anyone, especially grown-ups. I felt like no one cared what happened. Um, I was angry and I was hurt and upset. I needed somewhere to go. I just wanted someone to care about me. We've all heard the stories and read the headlines. Children that are confused, lost, angry. The ones that no longer fit at home or in mainstream education. Their very challenging behaviour may be the result of family breakdown, social problems or school exclusions. And in some extreme cases, they may be the innocent victims of the kind of events that we struggle even to imagine. There is a place that provides hope and a positive future for troubled children like this. A place where they can learn to live again. The Mulberry Bush School. Children come to the Mulberry Bush from all over the country. Um, they're primary aged and uh, aged 5 to 13, boys and girls. We're working to try to return children uh, at the end of their placement to be able to live in a family, attend a local school and be supported by local services. We have children that generally come for a three-year placement and during that time we would hope, well we would see progress through um, an ability to be with other children, to sustain their concentration, to work at the national curriculum at their level and our aim objective and our aim for the children is that they'll return back into their community at the end of their placement here. We, we place an awful lot of emphasis on ensuring that, that we, we have a safe site. Safety and security is a huge issue for us. Most of the children that come here have felt profoundly unsafe for a whole variety of reasons. So here we work very closely to try and support them to, to develop a way of feeling safe. Um, and so that involves very sort of close care, containment, um, comfort, nurture and support of all the children. The households, um, there's four of them. They each have their own individual um, provision. Um, they're pretty much based on the adults that work in, within them and their personalities. There's a main kitchen with a dining area to sort of encourage children to view um, what's been done in sort of like a group environment. It's quite homely. Well, I think mealtimes are um, a good example, really, because it's, it's fulfilling our primary need for our children. Food has all kinds of issues for, for lots of our children. Um, so they can also, that means they can be, it can be a very stressful time for them. So learning how to do that for social reasons and also developmental reasons is a really important time. So our staff will spend a lot of time thinking about where the children are sitting, how to support them with their eating, um, issues around eating too much or too little. So all of those things are thought about in staff meetings beforehand, although it may not seem that way in actual meals time there's a lot of thinking that goes in, into the planning of them. So there are four houses at the uh, Mulberry Bush School. My job uh, is to visit um, one of the houses each term and one day a week I come into the house cook with one of the children we prepare dinner for the entire house and it's fantastic I mean they, they, they just love doing it. They have their individual bedrooms and things and they decide who goes in, who doesn't, and things like that. The, the aim here is to try and create an atmosphere that is homely but not home. All of the children who come here um, have another home. Lots of the children and lots of the sponsoring authorities often look at the academic side of the child because that, that's, that's quite measurable. Right? But I, so I think the work that is achieved in the households may, may not be as measurable, but obviously you know, social integration into, into, into the local societies, local, local communities, and even their own communities, as I said, is a long-term goal. We try and make sure that the children experience going to school and then coming back to the house afterwards, but we try and do that as smoothly as possible. So the staff will go with the children to the classroom, they'll stay in the classroom until the child's settled, and the teachers and teacher assistants will do the same on the way back to the house. I think the setting that we're in helps a great deal with the therapeutic work we do. There's local, the local area is very scenic. We've got like lakes and rivers nearby and it's very nice to take the children out. For our children, challenge and excitement is really important in helping them learn and engage with us. Um, so we do 
use within um, a very sort of um, risk assessed way. We use forest schools which involves fire and cooking and knives and we've also got a playground that um, the children can climb quite, quite high on um, because we think that's part of their development and really important for the children that have had the sort of past that ours have had. Most of the children who come to us are in, in quite a state of inner turmoil and they've got no way of making any sense of that. They've not had the, the parenting that gives them those resources so it's getting them ready to understand themselves and through that process they'll then start to work out what makes other people tick. Many of the children here are emotionally really very tiny so even within their body or their chronological age they, they might be at normal primary school age but actually emotionally they're very tiny so they might be functioning at a at a sort of a quite a baby toddler level. I mean, basically, we're, we're working with children whose emotional capacities are still at a, such a very young age, but chronologically, that they've grown so that even the, you know a seven-year-old having a, a, the tantrum that a toddler might have can be you know quite threatening. And really, when they come here, what we do is we we look to work to try and understand what that that violent and aggressive behaviour is about. We meet all children that come to the school three times and through our assessment and through talking to the other staff who work with the children we are then able to work out which child is more likely to want a music therapy, drama therapy or psychotherapy. And in music therapy the idea is that you don't really speak much, it's all done through rhythm and music and sound and issues are dealt with at a completely different level than they are in psychotherapy where children will be encouraged to play and then we'll often begin to talk to them about the play. I think from my point of view as somebody that teaches the children the Mulberry Bush meets the academic needs of every child and children that come to the school make huge and significant progress in the curriculum and I think as somebody that is mainly involved in education that's paramount for me. We also make good use of our experience so we have a great deal of knowledge about the types of children placed in the school and the most effective ways to teach them. I think the Mulberry Bush is a, is a unique school um, for primary aged children and their families who are really struggling with life. We have excellent outcomes for the children placed at the school. It's not about what's brought them here, it's what we can help them to do to achieve when they leave here. Well, we, we hope that when children move on from the Mulberry Bush, they, they have, or they can see the positive aspects of their time here. Clearly, um, in the work that we do with children, it's not all fun. You know, it's not all a bit of roses. And, and, and alongside the fun and the laughter and the enjoyment, we know that they have some difficult, tough and distressing times. And what we hope that the children take with them is an experience of having been understood at those times and nurtured and contained um, and cared for. Um, I came to the Mulberry Bush when I was six or seven, virgin on seven, um, and I was a little wayward, shall we say. He came to Mulberry Bush when he was seven years old. Uh, he was, I think, very frustrated in life, wasn't he? Very angry. Yep. Uh, very violent. Mm-hmm. I thought it um, helped me improve my behaviour. It helped me education-wise. When I left the bush, um, I was a happier person, more confident. I was a lot more articulate. Um, I was really good in school. When he first came and things were, the family was falling apart at that point, I think. Mm. And so Mulberry Bush probably saved our family. The Mulberry Bush School is a very special resource, providing so many young people with the helping hand they so desperately need. The statistics speak for themselves, as do the many letters that the school receives from grateful parents and ex-pupils. The school itself is perhaps no more than a remarkable community of dedicated staff set in the peaceful tranquility of the Oxfordshire countryside. But inside its safe walls, its children are able to start the process of reclaiming their lives and becoming truly happy once again. Learning to live. Living to learn. To find out more about the Mulberry Bush School, contact the Head of Referrals on 01865 300 202 or visit the website www.mulberrybush.org.uk.